What's up guys, this is Yes Jules. I am here on the Miami Boardwalk with Mr. Bentley himself. We are here enjoying Art Basel. We just had a cool conversation about your part in the uh, Pablo project. Yeah. Or what we what we know as the Pablo project, which was once to you something different. And you produced my favorite song on that, and that's Ultra Light Beam. Yeah, so what essentially was going on is, you know, the album was called Swish for about three years. He was working on the project and, you know, I remember getting an email, he's like, yo, we, we got something. And that email basically means, I need you, time to dial in. I think the following day we moved into the studio and we're there until the completion of the album. And <clears throat> I remember one day he's just like, who would be the second most hated nigga in America? And he's like, Chris Brown. I need to do record Chris Brown. I showed the next day and I was feeling myself because like, vibes were great, ideals were bobbing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I like had a scarf around my neck and so I like walked up in the studio and I like the beat to what is now Waves was playing. And so I walk in, I'm walking in with the bop like this and he's like, walk up in this bitch, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yeah, so that, you know, right. man oh. has something to do with that line. So he, you know, he's not saying he's taking credit for that no, line, no. but he's just saying, you know, Vibes, his scarf. You capture, you can yeah, His scarf you is the inspiration. And so he sings the hook, Waves don't die, let me crash it for a moment, I don't need to own you. Which, you know, he's talking about a girl essentially. And then I remember sharing with him, I was like, man, you know, my brother Dion, who's a director, uh, he has this vision that when he believes the earth ends as we know it, when that wave crashes, that white surf that you see, my brother believes that angels are going to come out of there perpetually in the end of the earth as we know it. And so when I said that, yeah, he said, Joe, I, I, I need to see that. I need to see that image right now because he's a visual person. So that was kind of the first time a spiritual identity or idea was kind of dropped into the water. You know, that's why when you listen to the waves record, the first verse is, walk up in this bitch like, I'm the one the bitch like, and it's those. Then the second verse is more like, you know, a bird can't fly in a cage and, and a much more spiritual idea, bigger idea. And then, you know, I remember getting the studio on this, the, this anointed chorus Mike Dean was playing and Swiss was back there. We're going through the kind of ideation and people were catching freestyles and vibing. It's about 9 a.m. I'm about to go to bed. He's like, yo, you think you can just kind of edit and kind of pull some stuff together with that? And I'm kind of like, I'm like, Okay, man, I got you. So, <laughs> so as I'm doing it, and he, but this is the genius of him. He knows where to place people properly to continue to keep the ideation and the creativity going. And so while I'm doing that, and I'm in there editing it, and I hear clear as day, Kurt Franklin on the choir and Kelly Price. And I remember running to the studio because I was so excited. And I ran in, stopped editing, ran in to see Swiss, and Ye's in there. And I'm like, thought he was in the bed. And I'm like, yo, I just heard blah, blah, blah. And he's like, oh, you got all the colors. Cool, outrageous lovers of unique the Ross style. And he's like, yo, send it to him. And I immediately, I remember I called Kelly and I explained to her the ultralight beam the way Ye describes it. And the ultralight beam is our connection to God, to the Father, how he speaks to his mother. That's what the ultralight beam expresses and what it is. I explained it to her. I wake up about 4 p.m. I have an email and I'm sitting there with my wife who you just met. We're in the kitchen and, and I press play on the MP3 and it's what you now hear on the song. And me and my wife just go into tears. Like immediately the tears. I'm like, Wow. I gotta get to the studio. I go yeah, to the studio. Yeah, because I get goosebumps every time I think about that intro. And that's the genius of him, because I thought it should have been the last song of the album, but he was so right, it needed to be the first song. I remember running in, getting to the studio and playing. When I share an idea with Ye, I'm like, yo, check this out, or what you think about this? I never say, this is it, like, yeah. a fact. And I said to him, this is it. And I press play, and he's like, just this is, he's like, this is, he's like, get Kelly out here, fly to, go, just go, like, go. And you know that began helping to be the through line to help really finish what the life of Pablo is. And people don't really understand the life of Pablo is it is Pablo Escobar, it is Pablo Picasso, but it's also the Apostle Paul who wrote about 70 to 80 percent of the New Testament. And that's what it is talking about. And you know that's he kind of expresses what would have been a swish was was you know a rather rather lascivious idea. It still can be expressed through the prism of this thing and cast a much wider net for a bigger audience, which obviously it has because it's been so highly celebrated. Uh, the tour has been fantastic. You know, he, he's one of our very special ones and all of us are special. He's one of our special voices for, for the generation and we, you know, we need him and we need him yeah, we do. the most and he's gonna be good. I appreciate yeah. you stepping outside. We'll go get back to the party. This get is back Art to Basel. It. Yes, Jules, I'm here with Fonsworth Bentley on the boardwalk and this is Vivo. Thanks for tuning in.